Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on December 11th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the world update here, looking at space weather, world weather, disasters from around the world. Looking here at 304 angstroms at our sun, as we had a couple small flashes in activity there with the earth facing sunspot. It is now getting ready for the departing position. You can see one flare in the, the last position. Looking here, the last 48 hours incoming images and outgoing. So, yes, observing the sunspot that is earth facing there. A couple small flashes in the late images. Also producing a corona on the Lasco 2 image. Also looking at some activity on the southwestern limb here incoming. Looks to be pretty active and connected to the backside there. A couple small flashes within that as well. Looking here, 511 angstroms. Again, I want to thank you all of the new family members from around the world. Wow. Thank you so much for joining. We've got a, a lot of new faces here on the channel. Thank you for choosing Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And want to give a big shout out too to anybody who supports this channel in Super Chat or PayPal. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support to my research, my productions. Last few images looking at our sun. Just amazing. I... I could look at these images all day long. Amazing stuff. So we do have some incoming space weather right now. It came in a little bit last night. Nothing too serious. Solar wind speeds picked up to about 560 kilometers per second. A little bit of missing data here and there. But we are steady now at about 400 kilometers per second. Looking here at Alaska 2 and 3. Not much to talk about there, but you can see in the last code 2 image, the last couple images coming through, small CME blast there. So those flashes did produce a CME. Looking here at our Schumann resonance for today, we are at a power of 10, base frequency of 7.83 hertz. And let's have a look at earthquakes, the last 24 hours, most recently being here in South American plate, a 4.5 in Chile, as well, 4.5 Argentina, and 4.4 Argentina. Puerto Rico swarm continues, largest being a 3.2 recorded the last 24 hours. Quiet across the North American plate, somewhat. Mostly upper Midwest right now, with... Nevada, 3.6, and as well, Utah, 3.4, they're reported, California. And then we get to the Aleutian Islands here, where we're seeing some interesting activity all across the Alaskan Peninsula. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. We were talking about that super volcano last week in the volcanic activity report. And then literally 24 hours later, there was an earthquake right beside that volcano that I talked about. Crazy stuff. Looking here, large 5.1 reported in Japan, as well as 4.4. 4.5 reported Philippines. 4.3 as well, and 4.5 Ternate, Indonesia. Papua New Guinea with a 
as well. The largest last 24 hours, 5.9 here in Tonga region, 10 kilometer depth, as well at 4.6 at 549 kilometer depth. That was today, 4.9 Kermadec Islands, 4.2 New Zealand, as well that 5.9 so very active tonga region and then across african and european plate only earthquake to report 4.7 and iran looking here at the last seven days for earthquakes deep earthquakes recently in tonga and indonesia so we're seeing the larger quakes now up into china and russia or japan russia Still quiet across the African plate. Deep earthquakes, South America. And then a somewhat quiet North American plate. So stay safe, aware and prepared. Juan Tafuca. Cascadia subduction zone. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center. Looking at the most recent volcanoes being updated from around the world. The most re recent here, Sabancaya in Peru. As well, Ebico in Russia. Ibu in Indonesia, Dokono, Indonesia, Santa Maria waking up yesterday in Guatemala, and as well, looking here at the Fuego, Sangue, Dokono, Popopiketito, Klukchevskoy, and Ibu. So that's about 10 volcanoes being updated the last 24 hours. As well, we're reporting here, Tropical Storm, Tropical Cyclone number four, who is jogging west into New Dedeen and then going to be heading eastward. As well, we have the Tropical Cyclone number three, who is heading into northwestern parts of Australia. And already we're seeing in flood conditions four hours ago reported. So stay safe, aware, prepared, my friends and family in Australia. You will have some flash floods to deal with in the next little while. More rain in the long range forecast. Also looking at tropical cyclone Bungoyo, who just kind of disappeared as a high pressure ridge came along and ate it up. You can see there in the last few images, very interesting developments there as well. Looking at some storm conditions across Greece and snowy conditions up in Germany. As cool temperatures are coming down, long range forecast is very interesting. That's coming up right quick. Also looking at some wintry conditions all across the upper mid eastern parts of the United States and into Ontario. And let's get to our five day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth. Media Mike starting out overlooking here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as we do have some very cold temperatures moving in the next five days. And we will be dipping down to minus 13 and that's without the wind chill as we will have some intense winds behind that high pressure ridge that's coming in from North Alaska. So we're looking at minus 13 as a low for this week here in Calgary. The parts of northern Canada, Northwest Territory, and Yukon, you're going to be looking at minus 39, minus 40 in some areas, and that's without the wind chill. So stay warm, my Canadian friends. This cold weather is a coming. And as well, you can see here, five day forecast showing cold temperatures reaching down as far as Texas through the middle of the state of Texas. And then a small storm growing. Uh, later in the forecast but this is going to be an interesting system all across the eastern seaboard in the coming days monday into tuesday watch for torrential downpours strong winds on the eastern seaboard and then this beast of a system heading into the atlantic provinces mostly newfoundland the center of this low will be going across very strong winds and a lot of snow will be accumulating so get ready, my Atlantic Canadian friends. You guys do have a blizzard on your doorstep. Overlooking here at West Coast. Low pressure system moving in this week. 
moving northward along the BC coastline into Alaska again, but definitely going to make things wet. Overlooking the Pacific, long range forecast. Just look at the size of this low pressure system in the Pacific right now. Coming out of Russia, it's going to be very interesting because you can see those cold temperatures just north of it, and that will be bringing those cold temperatures eastward towards Canada. So get ready, my friends and family. Winter's right around the corner. Overlooking here, the equator, Micronesia, down into Indonesia. Heavy rains, tropical storm here, heading into New Tadine and then eastward. Southeastern Australia, watch for this large system to head into you. Possible tropical cyclone heading into Sydney and a lot of rain. Parts of the East Indies, somewhat dry. Sunday into Monday, some rain moving into Pakistan. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains. Heavier parts of South Africa. Low pressure system there moving in later in the week. We'll bring some torrential downpours. Overlooking Europe, as we talked about in my last forecast, we still have tons of rain moving in. A large low pressure system has pushed through from the North Atlantic and cold temperatures are still hanging around just east. Eastern Europe into Finland. But just look at the size of this low pressure system heading into you guys. It is literally almost the size of Australia. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Bolivia, Paraguay, and of course, Brazil yet again. And they've been hammered all week by these daily evaporation rains. Stay safe. Prayers for everyone being affected in Brazil by those floods. Prayers to everybody worldwide being affected by natural weather events. Many people have been displaced. Many lives have been lost. So prayers for humanity. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave you here looking at the major systems to be focused on in the long range forecast. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Stay warm, everybody. Bye bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.